Okay, so the first thing I want you guys to do, I think I told a couple of you guys already um, that we were gonna do this. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, the district came by, uh, asked me if we would, if my classes would test drive the Schoology app. And um, prior to today or prior to now, the Schoology app did not work for Hey CISD, but now it does. They activated it for all my classes and we're going to test it out. And for those of you that are in class, I want you to test it out, turn it in this homework when you're done uh, using the app. Um, it's super easy. I did it in my classes yesterday, but let's get everybody, especially for you guys at home. Here's an easy way to, uh, to turn in your work and to view slides and to view videos without having to go through ClassLink anymore. Uh, so it won't pull up through ClassLink. It's a lot easier now. So go to your app store on your phone and download the Schoology app. Download the Schoology app. It has a little white logo with the S um, in the middle. And when you get that, open it up and then wait for me. And I'll tell you um, what to put on um, in the window when you get there. Do we have to download it on our phone or can we just keep it on the computer? Oh, you can keep it on the computer, but this is for people who um who might need it i mean it's also really good for like messaging because you can message teachers uh through it easily i mean you don't have to download it but it's a lot easier to turn in your work if you're taking pictures of your stuff okay thank you i don't know the the main feature that we're going to use for it is to turn in work like that's that's the biggest thing um uh, especially for those who are taking pictures of work and you have to like, then you have to send it to yourself, right? Or you have to upload it to your drive and then you got to connect it to your thing or you had to go through the class link and it's super hard to click everything because it's really small, right? Mm -hmm. so this is a lot easier. Download that Schoology app. There's, there's some functionality that doesn't work. Like it doesn't show the buttons on there that I have on my main page or anything like that. You guys get it downloaded okay now when you when it asks for the school or the network don't put in layman high school because there's a bunch of layman high schools search for hey cisd okay hey cisd there's only one of them in there and so you'll be able to select that one so search for hey cisd um, and hit and click that one and it'll ask you for a username and password okay I'm gonna put this in the chat for you guys at home. So fine, hey CISD, your username is your ID number, okay? Username is your ID number. Your password to log in is um, your birthday, but it's two digits for the month, two digits for the day, but four digits for the year. So if you were born January 2nd, 2003, you put 01, 02 2003 okay so two digits for the month two digits for the date four digits for the year and you should be able to log into schoology uh to your schoology using that app if you guys have a problem here let me know check your phone once you're in you can navigate to the courses i just wanted to show you guys something real quick Go to go to the unit from so my class and go to 3.1 homework, which is the one you guys are turning in today, if you haven't already. And when you click on the homework assignment at the top right, it says submissions. There's info and then submissions. If you click submissions, there's a plus sign. And if you press the plus sign, you can add pictures straight from your camera roll. So from now on, if you want to turn in pictures of your thing and you want to just use your phone instead of your laptop, take pictures of your homework, put it in the camera roll. Then when you go to submissions, hit the plus sign and add photos, select all the photos all at once, and then press submit. If you do it one at a time, it submits it as a different revision every time. So try to do it all at once. You, you can select multiple photos when you uh, try to upload. Okay. So um that's anybody at home have a problem getting on there 
Good. You should, unless you use Classlink for something else, you probably don't need Classlink anymore. Um, unless you want to use the full version of it, but you can also make sure if you have Google Google Drive and Google Slides on your phone, then now you can access all the slides and all the videos um, super easily just using that app. You don't need Classlink anymore. So up to you if you want to take that off of your phone, but um, this is the better app. It also notifies you when you get messages. Um, so if I send a message or if you send me a message, I get a notification on my phone uh, about it and so on. Cool. All right. Did you guys, uh, were you guys able to finish your, most of this stuff uh, that I assigned you guys? So I'm going to go through, uh, if you go back to the slides on here, if you haven't finished three and four, uh, you can go back and finish those here in a little bit. Um, I'm going to put up the answer for three. If there's the answer for three, it's already in the slide. If you want to check your work, obviously you're not going to get credit for this if you just put the answer. So there's, and for those of you that already did your homework, you can check your answer. If you didn't do that problem yet, then you can uh, go back to the slides and look at that answer to see if you did it right. Did you get it right, Luis? Good. Um, as far as the rounding goes, let's say you got 73.58. Like, You're obviously really close. Uh, all that means is that you and I probably rounded it somewhere differently in the process. Um, so that's okay if you got if you're that close as long as you're showing your work you're fine. Um, and here's the answer to number four. If you finish that one, like I said, if you haven't finished it yet, then you can um, you can check your answer later. Um, you have some time here and a little bit to finish it. In a minute, or what's up? Length is the same as width, or length is the same as height. Yeah, the width uh, the width is this the long way. So the length is the same as the width. Should be, unless you switch them around. Do you have the right? Do you have the same two numbers? Yeah, well, I put length instead of height. That's not. Uh, it should be the height. That should be the height. Yeah, because we're talking about the TV itself. Um, what should I? What was I going to say? In a little bit, and halfway through the class, uh, for those people that are here, we're going to go down to the auto shop. Uh, wish we would have more people, but um, anyway. So here's what I wanted to go th go through was the last part with the tires, because those are the that's the harder, um, generally the harder part. Um, and we talked about this the other day. Let's recap this real quick because this is going to be on your next assessment, on your next test, on your next quiz, really. Uh, talking about a, a couple of different things for the tire. I hope you guys can see this here. Um, when I'm talking about this measurement right here, what is this called on the tire? And anybody at home can un unmute themselves too. This is the width. How do we measure this width in? What unit of measurement? Uh, millimeters. millimeters. Okay. This is a, one of the weird things. It doesn't matter where you are in the world. The tires are always measured width in millimeters. It's even here in the United States, we're metric mostly. Okay. This, this is in millimeters. And it's that first number on the tire after the P. Okay. So if this was the tire code, the width would be 185 millimeters. Okay. Think about it though. If you thought, if you know this, the width, it's definitely not going to be in inches. 185 inches would be super, super long. Okay. Um, when I look at the tire this way, I, I this right here, this distance between the edge of the tire and the rim is called what? That's the height. Okay. Normally, we would think you would assume that the height is the is the width of the whole tire. Okay. That's that's not what that's not the case. Uh, that's the diameter. So this is the width, the height of the tire. Um, and on the tire code, how do I, what do I use to calculate that? Which number? If I want to calculate the height of the tire, which number on the code, on this code that I have on the screen, do I use to calculate it? It's 75. That 75 is the aspect ratio. What that means is this right here 
is 75% of the width, okay? So we could have, uh, if we get a wider tire and a higher aspect ratio, then this could be really, really thick. But we could have the same size tire with uh, with this, and then the aspect ratio would be small, like a, a 40%, and it would be really, really thin. We have your rims going all really, really big on the tire. Um, and then obviously the rim goes right here in the middle. Which number is the rim size? The 14 is the rim size. That's in inches. Okay. When you're talking about 14 inch wheels, you guys, don't, if you have want to get 20 inch wheels, that's what they're talking about. They're talking about the rim size. 20 inches is not for the whole thing. It's just for the rim. So that's where that, that part comes in there. Um, I hope that you guys got to um, doing a couple of these yourself. You were supposed to look up a tire at a home that you have either in your car or your parents' car. There's a four-step process to calculate the circumference of the tire. And if you um, do it right, then you can actually tell how fast you're going and how far you're going if you were to change the tire size on your car. This is in a minute for you, at least you guys here in class, we're going to go down there and we're um, at the shop. We have some big, some big and little size tires and you really see the difference uh, between the codes and the, um, and the, um, uh, the size of the tires and how far they travel in one rotation. Don't forget that like the, your car is calibrated on one full rotation of the tire. So you get a bigger tire, a full rotation of that's going to go farther, right? It's going to be a lot different. Why don't we always divide by 25.4 the first step? To put it in inches. That's all I do. So every time you take the width and you divide it by 25.4, you do that every single time to get that width in inches. So you know, just to recap for what we did on Monday, this is the width is now 9.65 inches. Um, and now I can find the height in inches as well by multiplying by the ratio. Remember, you have to convert that ratio to a decimal. So that's where the 0.70 comes in. Why did I multiply the tire height by two in that third step? Well, because I have the tire height here. If I want to find the diameter of the whole tire, I have the tire height on both sides. And then I add in the rim. That's why I added in the 16, the 16 inch rim. And then back to geometry, we multiply the diameter by pi to get the circumference. So now I know that the circumference of the wheel all the way around is 92.74 inches. Um, did you, anybody you have, Luis, did you try this one already? Okay. So I have the answer for number six as well. If you want to check your answer, if you haven't done it yet, you'll need to go back in the slides and you can check your answer, um, there in a bit. Um, and that brought me, this is to the last part. Okay. So here's the last part. Did you get it right? I got 103.11. You're good. If we, you and I probably rounded at different places in the process. If you're that close, you're, you're right. Don't worry about it. Good. Um, so here's the last thing. Here's what I didn't talk to you guys about, but if you got to it, you should have been able to do it pretty easily. Um, where, how fast are you actually going? Well, once we have the circumference of, the, of your new tires, and if we know the circumference of your old tires, all we're going to do is divide those to find a new ratio and multiply it by whatever the speedometer says or whatever the odometer says in order to figure out how fast you're actually going. So if you haven't done seven yet, let's do seven together. Get your journal. Let's do seven together if you haven't done this because it's super, super easy. So remember, new tires divided by old tires. New divided by old. New divided by original. So number seven says, if the circumference of your original tires is 94.5 inches and you change to new bigger tires that have a circumference of 108.9 inches, how fast will you actually be going if the speedometer says 70 miles per hour? So it's new divided by old, right? New divided by old. So what am I dividing by? What's on the, what's, which one is the new one? The 108.9 is the new one. The 94.5 is the old one. I'm going to divide those and then multiply by what? 70. By 70. Simple, simple question. Uh, multiply those and um, Aiden, what'd you get? I got uh, 80.6. 80.6. So think about it, guys. Your speedometer says you, you went from a, a, a smaller tire to a bigger tire, right? You know, from a small, which is what most people want to do when they get a new car. You get a new car, you like that big tire size, right? You want to get some bigger tires, especially if you have a truck, truck or a Jeep, you go bigger. Your 
you think you're going 70 because that's what the speedometer says, but you're actually going almost 81 miles per hour. Can you get pulled over and get a ticket? Yeah. Yeah, pretty easily. Well, depends on where you are. Depends on where you are, right? Like, I mean, I go 10 over most of the time on the highway, not necessarily in the residential streets, but um, yeah, you could get pulled over and you didn't even know it because you didn't make that, t take the time to calibrate or to figure out how fast you actually, I mean, most people will just have to make some adjustments um, in their head as they're driving. And remember it's a ratio. So this is not going to, it's not going to always be 11 miles per hour over the smaller it is, the, the less it is over than, than it will be at higher speeds. Um, but so when you go from a, a smaller tire to a bigger tire, you're going to be actually going faster than what the speedometer says. What happens if you go the opposite way? What if you go from a bigger tire to a smaller tire? Going you're going to be going slower and that's what number uh, eight is all about you do the same thing for number eight divide um, make sure you divide the new by the old and you'll realize that you're actually going slower than what you really are okay and then uh, nine through twelve I'll just check um, as you guys turn those in because those are gonna be different for everybody for the most part any questions from you guys at home All right, I'm going to stop the recording.